What's up, guys? Um, it is Monday night as I'm recording this. Um, I just wanted to talk about it. Obviously, you guys know um, my Steelers post-game video was out yesterday. And I wasn't as rageful, as upset as, you know, in the, in the video at least that, you know, some people might expect. But that's just because I've gotten kind of numb to the feeling at this point. It's not something I want. But it's just gotten to that point where, you know, I can yell, I can scream, I can do whatever I did, you know, like I did at that Chargers game. It's not going to change anything. You know, we're just fans. You know, we don't really have a say, you know, in what's going to happen with the team. I mean, this is just a Tuesday therapy session I wanted to talk about. This is going to be a Tuesday morning. Um, I just got to say fans deserve better, man. Cincinnati Bengals fans deserve better. They showed out yesterday. They actually limited the terrible towels a little bit. Like, it wasn't as bad. Uh, obviously, it wasn't as bad as, like, Washington. Um, wasn't as bad as, you know, some other stadiums. Chargers, even, like, when the Steelers go there. Kind of limited it. You know, it wasn't all that bad. But, you know, regardless, um, just came out on the losing end because of our defense, man. Um, but I want to hit on something. Like, just it, this is mainly a fan kind of thing just because I know the team – has a lot of issues, especially on the defensive side. But my problem, man, I'm just tired of watching rivals compete in the playoffs, deep in the playoffs, while we just continue to fall short. I mean, it's been outside of the last, outside of like two years, it's been like the story for pretty much all my fandom, and then all, you know, all of like the freaking the, going back to the early '90s, and you know, even this season, like. You know, you switch the outcome of that Ravens Bengals game. You switch the outcome of that, you know, um, you know, Chargers Bengals game or the second Ravens Bengals game. Like, so many of those games, like, it would have been so memorable. It would have been, you know, a franchise kind of one of the one of the one of the cornerstone victories of the franchise. You know, it's like this team. It'd be it'd be something to hold on to as fans. You know, even if we. You know, didn't make the playoffs. It's just frustrating because, like, if what if those games had gone either way, even if the Steelers game had gone either way, it's like okay, then there becomes to, you know, there begins to have there. there there's like some sort of um. What do you have? What, what, I don't want to like. It, it just becomes some like it just gets to a point where at this point, like, we just can't. I can't even watch the highlights when we lose because we know how it ends. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I can. It's different. You know, when you watch the playoff highlights that we had two years ago, three years ago, I mean, yeah, it ended bad, but, you know, we still had games to hold on to. This season, we we don't have much to hold on to. I mean, we have a, you know, back-to-back -back victories over, you know, the Browns and the um, the Giants, but what good is that? We beat up on the Panthers, the Raiders. We've lost to pretty much every contender that out there. It, it really hurts. It hurts. And that's just something that I want. You know, I'm tired of coming on here. This is the one of the reasons I didn't do an OSU Michigan recap. I'm just tired of coming on here and just talking about, you know, losses, talking about the heartbreak, talking about like everything. It just sounds I just I'm tired of sounding like that. I'm tired of raising my voice too. Like it's just like you just want to see this team be good. We all want the same thing. But you know, it just comes down to like the like the front office just isn't giving it to us. I mean, look. I want to feel proud of this team for winning, not just me being loyal. You know, I don't really consider me being loyal like an achievement or anything. I consider it, you know, it's not easy because it's definitely not easy being a Bengals fan. But I just want this team to be good. I mean, I'm tired of all the constant, you know, losing the, um, you know, just the heartbreak. I just wish we could ho hold on to something. You know, like wins. I don't really feel like watching the Raiders game, that Giants game, that Browns game, that, uh, you know, that Panthers game. I just don't feel like it because just the games that we've been right there for the majority just come out on the losing end and it hurts. I mean, to believe, I want to believe that this organization, this front office, like this, you know, coaching staff, the players even, like, do they care as much as we do? I know Joe Burrow cares. I know Jamar Chase cares. I know T. Higgins cares. I know Trey Hendrickson cares. I have doubts. Just out of a bye week, you gave a 44 points to an offense that's not great.
You know, the 26th, 27th ranked offense in the league, not great, not good at all. And we gave up 44. I mean, this is the kind of thing I want. You know, look game, look back at, at things that we can say, yes. You know, that 10-game winning streak two years ago, that's something to hold on to. But it, it doesn't matter. We didn't finish the job. You know, I can enjoy that. I can always remember it. But it, we didn't come out on top. Just like even 2021, you know, I'll always remember that three-game, you know, winning streak to close out the year and then the three playoff wins we got. But we didn't finish the job. But again... You know, if they, if even if they had finished the job, obviously the sting of this season gets erased because you we, we we've had that taste of a championship. We haven't yet, so we really want to get over that hump. Now I'll always cherish those two years, but at some point I just don't want to hold on to that forever. I know it's only been two years since we last were in there, but you know, at what point does it become? You know, year after year after year, we're looking back at those two years and we're like, okay, well now it's a distant memory. We all want the same thing. And we deserve it. We've been there. The team, we, you have a fan base starving for success. And you're not doing, you're not providing them anything except for just heartbreak and disappointment as usual. That's what the franchise is just known for, unfortunately. And watching other teams, you know, great, you know, great teams, they celebrate success. It's not so much, it's more of a jealousy thing. It's not like a hatred thing. Like, I don't, I mean, it's it's cool seeing, like, you know, it's, I respect Kansas City. I, I mean... It's cool seeing teams in the playoffs, you know, watching them play. It's fun. But at some point, it's like we really want to be there. You know, watching other great teams celebrate their success. It's like we, we just endure just the most heart-crushing losses. And we're pretty much a game away from, I mean, obviously a game away from clinching the clinching a losing season. But, you know, pretty much just not even having a single shot at the playoffs, even if we win out. There's a 36% chance we make it. Not great. We're not making the playoffs this year. I'm tired of the negativity. I'm tired of seeing the same thing on my timeline, man. Every single week, I see the same thing. I see, like, you know, stuff about Lou, stuff about Zach, stuff about just the or, the uh, organization in general, the Brown family, the Blackburns. And they've tried. They've tried to fix the line. They've tried to do everything they can. But at some point, it just becomes, like, there has to be some change, and I really hope there is. I hope I'm I hope I'm proven wrong when I say like I don't think there's gonna be much change. I've tried so hard to defend this organization. You know, you see me like I'm always defending the organization when we talk about like free agency, talk about you know the draft even until you found out like none of these players have or really none of these players have turned out to be what the organization expected or wanted. You know, you, whether it be Steeler fans, you know, they, 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 you know, they get, they, look, they get, I mean, look, I'm not saying they haven't endured struggles. You know, it's like, they, but, but they, you know, they're still a proud franchise. You know, Mike Tomlin just clinched his 21st straight losing season. You gotta give him props. That organization, unfortunately, they, they care. I mean, they, not, I'm not saying the Bengals don't care, but they, you know, the Steelers are not exactly, I mean, they can be stubborn at times, but it's like, what they do, it's, it's working. You know, the Bills are consistent threat. I thought it was going to be, like, for the next 10 years, I said after 2021, it would be Chiefs, Bills, Bengals. I thought each would get a Lombardi. Not sure about that anymore. I mean, I want Joe Burrow to win a Super Bowl here. I want him to hold it up in front of the state of Ohio, the city of Cincinnati. We, we deserve it. It's like... You know, you can't write something better than that. You know, a kid coming, you know, get drafted to... You know, a, a team from the state he grew up in. But that's all that we can hold on to. The negativity about the organization. The players. Because no results are showing otherwise. And I'm tired of seeing it. You know, I have to see the same thing. It's like this organization doesn't care. It's like the same thing. Duke Tobin's getting a lot of flack. Mike Brown. Katie Blackburn. Troy. Zach. Lou. Everybody. The players even, CTB. I mean, shout out to him. He had a good game yesterday, but I'm just tired of man. I mean, and then, like, no one feels bad for us. I've said this so many times. No one's going to feel bad for us, you know, because everybody has a lot of built-up vitriol and hatred from for us, you know, and some of the bandwagon fans that may have chirped a lot. 
So it's like we just it's not a good place. It's a tough situation for the team at four and eight. I could see this team maybe winning one or two more games, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of high hopes for anything, to be honest with you. I mean, what? there's no game that I can look on there and say, oh, that's def- definitely a win. Seriously, I know we played Dallas, Tennessee, every every team that we have on the schedule, is they're beatable. But I can't tell you there's one game, oh, we got this. You know, the, the Chiefs can tell you that against the Panthers next week. The Steelers could... You know, tell you that against a team like, you know, Cleveland next week. Yeah, I know the Cleveland Browns beat them, but they got them at home. They're trying to avoid a sweep. sweep. They're on a roll. Bills even. You know, even the Niners last night. You know, they, they could you could say like, okay, we, we got them. You know, they're, injury, they're injured the hell and back. There's not a game. There's not a team the Bengals I can look at and say, oh, yeah, we got this one. Because keep in mind, we lost to New England week one. I don't, I don't know how good... I don't really know how bad this team is. I just can't defend this organization. So honestly, for the rest of the season, outside of like the season recap and whatnot, I don't know what other Bengals video outside of like previews and post games I'm really going to do. Because I've kind of let everything out here and it's not really much the organization can do now. Because honestly, at this point, it's just, it's too late. You got to play with what you have. And I got to say, you know, just a message to the Browns, the Blackburns, please give us a reason to be proud. You know, we're here. We're always going to be here. You know, we're not bandwagon fans. And the players, you know, you got to fight for the fans. I mean, they've, they've showed up every week in the cold. And to the fans, man, just hang in there. It's the NFL. It, you know, ups and downs happen. You know, it, it, there can be a time where a team goes from six wins to you know, a Super Bowl in two years or, you know, like the Bengals did, they four wins to a Super Bowl. It's like, we just got to fix the offseason holes and, you know, especially on defense. Like I said, it's got, it really got masked the last three years because we've been winning. The front office needs to just wake up and give us a reason to be excited because right now there's nothing going. I mean, next Monday night, obviously fans are going to watch the game, but it's like, who wants to put all their, you know, sights on that game? It's like not... It's not something you want to invest in unless the team is really putting up a, a winning product or a product worth watching on the field. I mean, on offense, they are. But we're wasting it. I mean, everybody, everybody's post-game presser, they look defeated. They look upset. And I don't blame them a single bit. Because, you know, we're, we're they're in our situation. They feel the same way we feel. Probably even worse. Because they, they're grown men. They, they, they want to go out there, win for the fans and everything. I'm just saying, I just don't know if we're going to fix the holes. or I'm like, we should. I think Lou needs to go. I think, you know, Zach Taylor, honestly, he needs to go. He's 11-23 and 23 against the AFC North, which is ridiculous. He's, he's like, I think, he I don't know what his record is in September, but it's atrocious. I like Zach. I appreciate what he did for the city, but... I just don't see him as a long-term head coach solution. Honestly. I just feel like it's it's gotten to a point where we just need to move on. I know we went to a Super Bowl with us and everything, a AFC championship, like it doesn't mean anything. Because one, we didn't finish the job, and two, it's like it just doesn't you know, that could be a testament to Burrow or Chase or, you know, the Bengals in general, like the talent wise, even the defense. They've never been ranked in the top ten under Lou. I mean, they were clutch in the playoffs. Probably the best defense in the playoffs, you could argue, in 2022. Um, 20, 2021, I mean, you know, they were good, but, you know, they ran into a buzzsaw in L.A. and the Super Bowl. So it's like I just want a reason to be excited. I don't like coming on here and talking about, you know, this team and, you know, why they're not doing what's, you know, what they're supposed to be doing. And that's to get some stops. I mean, we've allowed 15... We've forced 15 punts at home this year. Which is crazy. And we had the we had the game, like... We had it in the... not in, I don't want to say one, but we had the game, like, in our favor. And it just came apart. It's like that every time it's gotten to that point. It gave me Eagles game vibes yesterday. Great first half. 
but then the wheels just not I mean great first half guys a great first quarter great mid second quarter but then the wheels just fall off not sure what I can do man like to just express my thoughts even more but I, I feel like I've done a good job of kind of piecing it together I just feel like we just got to stay strong the best we can do is just hope and you know hope, hope and pray that they fix the holes because that's all they, we can do I mean you know we we love this team I love this team but we deserve better you know, we're starving wins memories You know, everything that we've seen kind of in the NFL, if, as far as like, you know, how they've kind of, you know, officiating has been an issue against us in some ways. I just want to get back, like, you know, from the team somehow. I don't care. Like I said, I've, all, I've said this a million times. I can sound like a broken record. I don't care about the details of the game. I just want the Cincinnati Bengals to win. And I'm, we're all starving for it. We all are hoping, but I don't know. I really don't. We deserve a lot better, but, you know, unfortunately, I just, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get it, but, you know, we've said that for so many years. How many times have, we, have I said we deserve better? I mean, we just don't end up getting it. I mean, Cincinnati fans, like, they, they ride or die, and... It just hasn't, it just hasn't come to us. I'm tired of watching, you know, all these different fans. Like, you know, even I follow. Much respect to them. I'm tired of seeing the recaps where they come out ahead and we don't. Because I, I see the excitement, the elation that, you know, they get when their team wins. And then here I am deflated talking about us losing eight games so far. In a season where we were supposed to be at one of the top, you know, one or two dogs in the AFC North. I was wrong. So. But, you know, as always, I mean, all you can do is hope for the best. I mean, there's not much. You don't let it spoil your day, I guess. Don't let it, you know, affect you that much. I mean, you can just hope for the best. But you're, it's, it's out of your control at the end of the day, guys. You know that. So. We deserve better. Um, and, you know, only question, man. When is it going to end? said that for a long time i even said that after we lost to kansas city in the playoffs a couple years ago i said when is it going to end man we've always had even when we've been good we it's always ended in heartbreak you know sustainability has been an issue for the Bengals for so many years i mean sustaining success you know bills have you know made consistent some you know consistently won playoff games the you know um It just hasn't, just hasn't gone our way. So that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I I can come on here and I can tell you I'm a, I can say you I'm blue in the face and tell, and tell you like you know what I think. But we do deserve better. I mean, we've gotten every single, you know, every single heart her or like way to lose. Like it just at this point, it's just becoming a way of art. I mean, the way we're losing these games. So all I'm asking you, Bengals. Kind of similar to what you did in 2021. Please rebuild to a contender. Build your way to a contender. Even if it means flushing out the whole defense. Whole coaching staff. Do it. Because you have a, a quarterback that is a killer. Jamar Chase. Kill it. Running back. Killer. Yesterday. They have seven yards of carry. Fan base, killer fan base. I mean, we 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 come out there every day, and all we can do is say you're powerless. Like, okay, what's gonna happen next? So I'm asking you, Bengals, please. But Cincinnati Bengals fans, we deserve better. But I appreciate you guys always tuning in. As always, it makes means a lot, and you get to watch me come on here and just talk about this team and how they've let us down so many times in uh, many different ways. So. Anyway, that's about it. Um, at the end of the day, go Bengals, but 
they're really not someone I want, a team I want to talk about, you know, outside of, you know, previews, post games and all, because I really want to, I want to come on here and be happy, man, and, uh, you know, hopefully there's some more memories created with uh, each of my four teams down the line, you know, the Reds off season. hopefully they have a good off season. the Bengals, I don't know, maybe they, hopefully they can have some sort of spark to end the year at least, or like, you know, in free agency make a splash, Cavs are off to a great start, I had a video on them. And the Bucks, hopefully they can make the playoffs and make a run even with that loss. So that's about it. You saw me rage about the Bengals. Or I guess not rage, but, you know, just talk about the Bengals. Kind of dump everything out. Let the, let it out. I mean, that's all I can do. You know, I feel a little better just kind of letting it out there. Um, but you guys have a great one. And um, I'll see you guys next time.